It is I, Kyle Shimon from GameDropZone.com, and I come to you with a confession. I got code for this game a couple of nights ago. I sat down after a long, hard day of work, and um, I played about an hour, an hour and a half, and I don't know what happened. It was, like, real rough. I vomited a lot. Um, In-game, that was. I probably didn't in real life. Uh, I was thirsty a lot. Everything went dark. Some people with sticks beat me up. Um, so we're going to go from the top and see if things go any better. We're playing from the very start of the game again. Um, and yeah, this is We Happy Few Game Preview, so it's effectively early access. And happy is the country with no past. So here we are, censoring newspapers as you do in the office. Okie dokie, no swimming in the river. Oh, heavens no. We can't have anything negative, such as a warning. I should probably point out I'm sitting far enough away from my TV. I can barely read a word of what's on screen. When life annoys, top up your joy. Damn right, get it down your neck. Go on, you know you want to. I should just take my joy, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's not take it. Because I know how this game goes. Percy. Percy. So, for reference, we are Arthur Hastings. Um, a man who talks to himself a lot. Which isn't unexpected, given the amount of drugs he's been doing. And everyone has in this world. And I'm guessing Percy is his brother? No one's seen you for hours. Oh... Most of the grindstone. Then there's this wily you know. minx. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? Oh, look at those eyes. <laughs> Snug as a mug on a drug. Well, come on then. Finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. Uh, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. I never do, lady. I never do. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? Replace the power cell. Stand up. Mm. I can't read what that is. Sure, it's hilarious. It's hard to finish up a day's work, can it? All right. Yeah, accept it, why not? We're brothers. I'll always look after you, you know that. Good Christ, Arthur. You've never done this before in your life. How does she know? Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the pinata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. So there's something I'm really uncomfortable with all of this man's monologuing. Yeah, it says the word success, let's it proved. Stamp, boom. So this man talks to himself a lot. And uh let's take that. And I don't think it's great. I don't know if it's the voice actor or the lines he's saying. It's something games have struggled with for a while. Do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? Like, that specific line there just makes me want to vomit. 
I will break it for everybody. Because it just feels so out of place, like no person would ever say that. Um, so we can walk around these offices if we wanted to. I don't, because I know we'll be there for a while. We could uh, sit and go through that person censoring stuff. That's a picture of me. That little shit. He wants my view. <laughs> nice touch. You're not coming back, are you, Prue? But where did you go? Take all the power cells. Because it's that kind of game. Oh, rotten food. Such a great moment. Such a great moment. Be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. FMV. So, like, there's so much style here, and obviously this came across in Microsoft's E3 press conference. Um, but well, we'll see for ourselves what it actually looks like in in world. The pinata. Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the candy comes out. Well, let's get Come whacking. On. Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Give it a awesome. You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Oh, Call security. Down. We've got a downer. All right, so they're on to me. <laughs> Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. Yeah, like this man just shouldn't be allowed to talk to himself. He's really bad at it. So then none of this is actual gameplay, this is all just happening. Whack. Swamp. Alright, so after this we pretty much get dumped into the open world. There's no real explanation um, of how we end up where we are, but this game is a survival game. Uh, it was kickstarted. I'm assuming it was sold as a Kickstarter, uh, as a survival game. Sorry, on Kickstarter. Um, and I, I knew what it was coming out of E3 because I'd heard people talking about it before. But it's certainly there's a definite disconnect between you know that opening prologue we've just done and what we're going to jump into now. And there's, there's just some really interesting things. I'm not necessarily opposed to it. And there's elements... There's things about, like, the barrenness of this area we're going to step into that I think actually maybe... Uh, if it's not intentional, it certainly works. Uh, it is early access, so, you know, long loads. We might have some bugs. I haven't encountered anything crippling myself. And we shouldn't be too long now. I am playing on the Xbox One, if that wasn't clear from the button prompts. Um, this is my first game preview game, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, obviously, I've played a lot of early access games, but I've never played anything on the Xbox. It'll be interesting to see if they keep, like, complete parity with the PC, how that all works.
And here we go. Christ. Jesus. I can't believe I'm still alive. Hell of a texture. More or less. So. Ow. Let's take a look. Feels like I lost an argument with a train. What's going on in the I can't go back. I've got to get out of here. Chloe hands. It's like we're playing Oblivion or something. I insist on it. But at three. I have got um, subtitles turned on. I'll just check. Yeah. So I love this. I love this FMV um, in this super cartoony world. So presumably that's how we got in. I suppose I won't be getting out oh, that no. way. That's my stash. Um, pick up that filtered water. And that's locked. So. Uh, I'm sorry if I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Everything feels like it's on the, the... Not necessarily on the wrong button. It's just never what I expect it to be. Yeah, so we've just crafted a lockpick. Because I've played these kind of games before. And now, the now am I just going to take all? Um, so this is a survival game, so we have a he we have, a he have our health, obviously. That's the one on the top left there. Um, we have a water meter there now. Soon we'll have food and we'll have tiredness as well. And now we have a corpse. Just hanging. Like a pinata. Sorry to bother. And it looks like she's gone off her rocker. Oh god. Let's take her with us. Were it actually me and not a video game character, I would probably resort to cannibalism pretty quick. I mean, she's a frail woman, sure, but there's a hell of a lot of meat on even someone like her. Not that you have anything to cook her on. And I don't know why, but raw human flesh sounds, uh... Sounds way worse than cooked human flesh. I feel like this probably isn't a conversation I should have on a recording, because if there's ever a case of cannibalism anywhere near me, I'm going to be convicted. Uh, let's just chuck you in a flower bed. That's maybe not quite as hidden as I'd like, but whatever. So, this is... Is it called Hamlin? Was that what was on the loading screen? It's, um... An interesting place. That's a water pump. Uh, apparently... Oh, we can drink. Yeah, let's drink from it. Love that problem. And there's people hanging around, and we can just walk up and talk to these people. When you need him, eh? What happened to the garden? No two people ha like have a conversation. We both just say a line at each other. Uh, telephone box. It's weird, right? Because the telephone box is like proportionally the right size, and this is tiny C compared to the mailboxes we have in the part of Britain I live in. I... Somebody's seen me, I think. Stealing from a coin box. So, like, this telephone, um... I didn't see this last time I played this game. But A, it's weird that this, like, really old telephone is, like, basically an audio log. And this whole... All the voice acting, everything... Everything about this game just feels so weird. Like, I don't know whether that was, like secret code from some sort of downer resistance or something, or whether it was just somebody really weird making a recording about um, rabbits. Also, I don't know what that clicking noise is. Like, it almost sounds like some... It sounds like the lockpicking animation sound has looped. Uh, so, I'm sorry about that. There's not a lot I can do about it. 
So, obviously not a really happy place. But I feel like the loading screen sold us on. Deal some berries. Back off. What's it like across the water, do you think? Yeah, definitely fake Britain. Nowhere else would they talk about all those great British staples of food. Like bangers and mash. That is defying... Hmm. I must still be on the joy to see that. So we can uh, choke these people out. Please don't make a fuss. And they're just unconscious. I don't like. I don't necessarily have a good idea of how the um, magic carpet of how like encounters work. Like, oh. Like, she's basically just standing over this dude I've choked out and doesn't care about me, but I bet if she had seen me do it, she totally would. Oh god, get down. There we go. So those pills we just picked up are, um, food poisoning pills, because there's a lot of really shit food in this wasteland. And we can't get that chef's hat. Let's take a look at the map. So let's take a wander down to the quest objective. Now, parts of this world are procedurally generated, and I think that's like the quests and stuff. I Uncle Jack before he was happy. I just want them to stop screaming. It's not my fault. I I'm being controlled by someone I've never even met. What are you talking about, you idiot? Chatting to himself. Steal all these coins. Yeah, this man just walks up to people and has, like, completely meaningless, single-sentence conversations. No girls allowed in this treehouse? Hello there, Jimmy. Suppose. Welcome to the special operations executive. You're the new agent. Oh, fucking this guy. Alfie, what's his name? Great. Here are the other agents. This is Charlie Ugh. Croker, Jack Carter, Gonville Bromhead, Joe Vandeleur. This is like one of two ways. In the f if, God forbid, apocalypse befalls our fair planet, I would either go like this man, just like lock myself in a room full of shit. I go completely insane. Or I would just like hang myself like Mrs. Stokes. Although I probably wouldn't do it in a floral skirt. I wish there was uh, the subtitles for like ambient noise work because I would totally just stand there and listen to that because I don't know if you can hear it over my voice but like some of the stuff seemed pretty good. So it's a weird world, because it's like clearly relatively large. I think it's split into... I believe it's five islands, only three of which are currently in-game. I don't know if this map... I think this... I think like the island we're on is like only that top left-hand corner. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure if the parts of the world are procedural. Like, I encountered that man last night um, in the treehouse, but I didn't encounter that little house of people. Grab some petals. The lockpick is still totally going. Going strong. Some really nice lighting. Like questionable texture work, but it's easy to forget, especially when the game like this shows up on a stage show, that this is an independent developer. Um, and, you know, they won't have a huge budget. Ah. It's strange how everyone looks the same. My Jimmy bar broke, but I can still open the that's stuck. doors. Oh. Oh, I thought that was a a human nugget. And a rock on a plate. 
No, we can yes, just sit sir. down in basically any chair Watch and read the paper. Joy flavors. Coconut. Hmm. I'm worried we're going to get attacked, because... Mine, mine, or mine was added to the journal. Okie dokie. So, we have got quests. Uh, let's check that out in the journal. Um. Nope. Oh, there we go. The main encounter is to get off the island. Uh, we'll go down and take a look at that in a little bit. We're looking for that dude's peachy, the little uh, doll as well. Get the ducky. I don't know what that's about. But we might as well do this one because we're here. And it's hard to know. Like, I don't did I don't think that Mrs. Stokes quest actually did anything for us. I think it was just to dump the body outside. Um. Oh god. Oh. Well, Holy it's shit. Be a bit tricky. Look, I really need this. All right, trip wires. Rock. Oh, there's the. Oh, why don't you just run through that, lady? You can't see that. Come on. I don't think that actually damaged me any, but. All right, so we're looking for three hidden caches. Can we? Yep. Oh, cool. I, I, I was bending my head back in real life. Oh, What's going to happen is we're going to get into a really tricky combat situation. I'm going to forget all about these and leg it straight through them all. Oh, like this. So I think the eye means they've like they're in combat and their health is a red bar around it. My stamina is low. My health is low. This is not going well. Oh, I think she just committed suicide. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're dead, woman. There we go. Don't mind me. Uh, so, let's check the inventory. We should have some healing bombs. Or maybe we can craft some. Strange meat. There we go. Let's take another one and it. I really need to sleep, but, uh... Oh, a quiet shawl, you fucker. Hmm. And I can't make one? It must just be in the environment somewhere, then. I think there was a tripwire there. I don't know how the hell we didn't hit it. Oh. Oh. We still need to find a shovel though before we can get in. No, let's, no, let's try doing it the way they said, with triggering the tripwire with uh, throwable weapons. I think we can throw rocks. Good Christ. I can barely keep my eyes open. Well, I got one. No, we still need the shovel. Ah, there must be a shovel around somewhere, but it'd be damned if I know where it is. Alright, we're getting really tired, and, uh, we should probably just head back to rest. Oh, she's just giving up. 
It's okay with me. We'll come back in the morning. No, the Jimmy Bar broke. So like that, that Jimmy Bar broke in... The first one broke in like one swipe. And the second one broke in like three. Seems a bit mean. Blue Molotov recipe. Maybe we need to find a recipe for the shovel then. Or maybe the... I've played games long enough to know they should just put a shovel around somewhere. Uh, but maybe we do need a recipe. I think I'm stuck on a rock. Glowy plants. They're clearly not radioactive. I what the? the fuck's actually gotten worse. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a plant. I'm not gonna go near that. It doesn't seem healthy. But let's leg it back to the safe house. We're going the right way. Fortunately. I was gonna, I was going to choke him out and see if he had anything on his person, but we really should just sleep. Bring Miss Stokes back down for some nighttime company. Sweet dreams. Let's give it eight hours. So it's this kind of game. Um, nothing at all like I thought it would be. I was expecting like. I know people have said they expected more of like a Bioshock uh, adventure sort of thing based off that E3 demonstration. I I was thinking more of like a walking simulator. I hate that term, but you know, you know the kind of game I mean. Like a walk around, collect notes and stuff. But in actual fact, it's something a little bit more weird. And it could be cool, like if they find a way of weaving that narrative and that character into all parts of this world... Um, or in it in such a way that you're getting to, like, nuggets of that, then that could be really exciting. But right now, I don't feel like I have a lot of aim. Yeah, it just feels very aimless. Which is also a feeling... I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but... It's like, to what end? So I think this is how you access the- oh, I'm dying of thirst. That was quick. I know I have some filtered water. There we go, we should probably eat something when we're at it. So I think this is how you access the other island, that one being Wellington Wells. Um. Constable's key card to get through there. And I think to open that, we need... Is it a power cell? Yeah, a power cell. And it's kind of disappointing. I deliberately nicked that power cell from the redactor at the beginning so I could see if it would work there, but we seem to have lost it. And this is a joy detector booth, so I'm betting we find the power cell. We either, you know, get the key card and walk straight through, or we find the power cell and have to take joy, or this thing is going to zap us. Yeah, but we're not going to do that in this video because uh, we're getting nowhere fast. So check back soon on GameDropZone.com. I'm hoping to do another one. But yeah, that was a wee happy few game preview. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. If it makes you happy. Carl Shimming, GameDropZone.com, signing off.